Hello, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. So what that means is um, I don't need the cards to read, but I do use them to connect to y'all here on the channel. <laughs> so if this is your first time finding Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot, welcome in, my loves. We are a high vibe tribe and a pillar of light channel for light workers, light warriors, star seeds, empaths, psychics, all the things, right? Those of you guys returning back, welcome in, mi amores. All right, so I'm gonna start off using some Intuit Oracle. I just kinda wanna get an overall energy around you guys at this time. Um, we're, we have the double rainbow showing up. That's serendipitous energy for four as I look up at the timestamp. All right. November 8th could be someone's birthday. Um, I'm getting, and, and then right as I say November 8th, we get yes. Okay, so someone tuning in, November 8th is your birthday. Um, okay, you don't have to be a Scorpio sun, but for someone that is a Scorpio sun, that's the message. I'm just trying to get a little bit of, there you are. Holy crap, there you are. Queen of Water, Queen of Cups energy here. Within the next three to six months. It's so funny that I just heard November 8th too, which is obviously in Scorpio season. And then we get Scorpio card, the death card. And it has the dates, your guys' dates, right? So something about that the time of year this year for you guys during your season was like extremely potent and powerful. There could have been some life-changing things that happened to you, occurred to you during Scorpio season. Scorpio is death and rebirth. It's cyclical. It's transformative. It's ever-changing. It's like, you know, that kind of thing. So it's caterpillar to butterfly. The dog. All right. And then the hummingbird. There's a close connection with animals and nature. Some of you guys um, for sure resonate as star seeds. Light workers, earth angels, right? And you can't make it up. There's more of your energy. It's, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes. You have 24 and 25 and then card number 18. This also has a 10 on it. You also have A and A. That could be someone's initials. Someone could actually be in AA. Okay. Congratulations if you are. All right. Sobriety is... A big deal that's you should be very very proud of yourself a lot of people can't be sober you know we're always trying to you know band-aid the feelings that we feel or the trauma that we've been through or you know and we're all guilty of it we all have our vices we all have our things right so you guys have broken out of that there's very supportive energy here with the dog faithful energy you could work in the healthcare industry okay all right you could be a nurse medical assistant, dentist, doctor. You know, there's a lot of people in the medical industry in all kinds of different jobs. Someone views you as someone very dependable, okay? And I feel like, Scorpio, that's what you have been manifesting. The hummingbird speaks of resilience. You know, you're very resilient. You've been lifting out of negativity. You're starting to taste the sweet nectar of life. And with that being said, I, this dog is also soulmate energy it says soulmate here on the card um you know soulmates could be platonic right you could have a, a parent soulmate you could have a sibling soulmate your dog could be your soulmate right it doesn't have to be a romantic soulmate although i am getting romantic vibes it's like someone wants to be cuddled up with you someone wants to I don't know, but they want to bring something back here. I feel like with the Phoenix, it's death and rebirth. A catalytic heart awakening, rising up from the ashes, total transformation, and a complete renewal. Okay. You could be seeing a lot of hummingbirds. You could resonate with hummingbirds. The Phoenix energy could be really big for you right now also. Someone could actually be purchasing a new dog or a pet. For some of you guys, you might be actually... You might have pets that are transitioning out or, you know, things of that nature. The, you have 23, 24, and 25 out of this deck, which is a pretty thick deck. There's a lot of cards in this deck. Okay? 
so Scorpio, things are starting to take off for you. All right, you're literally rising up in life right now. All right, you've been through the crash and burn. You've been through the karma. You've been through the heartache. You've been through the, the turmoil, through all the, all the crap, you know? And someone, it's like someone wants to untangle something here with this card right here, Yarn. It's all about, you know, hassles and being tangled up and tanglements and problems and, you know, all things like that. I feel like someone's life is feels like a big mess. It feels like a big entanglement. Okay, here's the thing, Scorpio. For some of you guys, this could be you, but it doesn't feel like you. It feels more like another person. There's a soulmate here who's, it's like they're standing idly by because they've been in a very difficult situation that has kept them tied up. They want to lift out of it. I feel like some of them are with this catalytic heart awakening and death and rebirth. Six, six on the timestamp when I look up. All right. There's a longing. You have 23 and then the play on numbers, 32. All right. So those numbers are going to be big. It also breaks down to five and five. Two and three is five, right? So it breaks down to a five, which is all about obstacles, challenges, and change. Someone has gone through an awakening. It's like they're picking the pieces of their life up off the floor and they're putting them back together. I'm literally seeing someone sitting on a floor with a million puzzle pieces and putting the puzzle together. And like half the puzzle is like all put together and done, okay? But like the other half of the puzzle is in pieces still. So someone is still trying to figure out these pieces, okay? But there is a longing and there's a deep attraction. You're very magnetic to this person. You're magnetic in general, Scorpio. Let's just say that. You're very magnetic. This person is longing for you. They desire you. They feel like they have fallen. Gravity is working against them. Gravity, stay the hell away from me. And then the bouquet. Reconciliation. Love, openness, warmth, express, expressive. You know, being a Scorpio, I, I resonate very deeply with Scorpio because I have a, I'm a triple Scorpio stellium in my seventh house. So the seventh house is ruled by Libra, which is, I'm a Libra sun too. So this could resonate Libra energy out there, Scorpio, you know, cross watchers, whoever, right? We all have different zodiacs within our birth chart. So this can resonate for a great number of you who tune in, right? Um, the seventh house is your house of partners, partnership, marriage, okay? It's ruled by Libra. It is like, it's the house of marriage. Libra rules partnerships, okay? So, anyway, so I resonate very deeply with the Scorpio energy. And what I was saying with that is Scorpios, because you guys are Scorpio energy, you guys are very deep, you're not fake, you will cut people out who are fake, you very much are like, just give it to me straight. I like real. I like raw. I don't like fluff, like black and white. I don't like reading between the lines. And I feel like that's what someone here was making you do or making you feel like. Basically, you don't have any interest in surface level relationships. Fake relationships, you know. Um, I, I had my yoga teacher here earlier um and she we were doing a yoga session right and we were talking about that and i was talking about scorpio energy and i was talking about this exactly actually and i said with my scorpio and my chart you know and especially it all being in my seventh house there's nothing in my seventh house except scorpio i have always been someone where i can't do artificial oh hey girl how you been that is not me that is not me. I will not be the bride standing up to get married with like 14 bridesmaids by my side. I might have one. Like, I'm just not like that. I'm all about deep, meaningful, soulful connections. And that is a part of my biggest karma in this lifetime is my relationships, my connections. You guys will relate to this. A lot of you, I know it. Because you have no, you just, you're not interested in false, fake, you know, on the surface, you know, oh, how have you been? Oh, I'm good. Oh, how you? you know, you're like, no, uh -uh. don't reach out to me unless you're going to be deep. Like, don't throw this fake 
you know, artificial stuff at me. And I feel like that's what someone was doing. They had to go through a death of the ego or something like that. All right. You're attracting a lot of things into you right now. Yeah, see, oh my gosh. I, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at bottom of the deck, Scorpio, card number 25. So you have 25 twice, seven, seven. Another A, triple A. <laughs> Someone could work for triple A. Maybe you've recently had to use your triple A car service or whatever, maybe, I don't know. But it's just confirmation and more synchronicities. The rings, this is all about contracts, partnerships. Everything I'm talking about is coming through right here. You guys have a soul contract with this person. And what I'm getting is a deep soul contract. This is a part of destiny. Remember the double rainbows when I was shuffling earlier? That's serendipitous. It's divine intervention. It's divine timing. So what I was just talking about, you don't have you know any interest in false connections, on the surface connections, materialistic connect, like nothing like that. Look at this is exactly what I'm talking about. Someone's wearing a mask. They were concealing things. Look at ego. See, I said someone went through a big death of the ego. We did have the death card earlier, your energy, which I forgot to take out and I started shuffling. <laughs> Sorry guys, but we all saw it. Okay. Maybe it'll circle back. And then you have the clouds. This is all about hesitation, doubts, someone who's confused. It's unclear. It's confusion, indecision, misunderstandings. And then, and look at the coloring. Look at the coloring of the clouds and the gold and then the gold and the black and the I mean, it all goes together, right? And then after the clouds and the mask, someone could actually be an actor or an actress. You could do that for a living. You could do it for a hobby. Um, there's something here about acting, but this is also about acting fake. Someone's been acting in life, acting fake. This person could be in another partnership, okay? That's why it's the hassle. It's why it's the entanglement. This is a conundrum. Someone feels all tied up, but they are wanting to be with you. It's a classic case of a runner. This is a runner. Some of you guys are going to resonate as twin flames. You're on a twin flame journey. That's why we have the um, phoenix rising here. Okay. Silly, silly goose tried to get one over on Scorpio. Little did they know, right? Okay. There it is. Confusion, a mask, and mountain. It's a block. This person has been very indifferent. They've been putting up barriers. It's a block. There could be distance. They've been distant energetically, physically, whatever. This is cold, coldness, obstacles, problems. This is that five that I was just talking about a little bit ago, the five, five or whatever. Obstacles, challenge, and change. All right, so let's go ahead and switch decks. Let's clarify using some tarot. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to tap in real quick. Now, someone's really gone within. All right. You meeting you, Scorpio, it, it caused this person to go within. It causes this person to go within, okay? Now, I'm also getting an energy of options. I am seeing the seven of cups in my mind's eye. Um, sorry, these, this is, oh, shut the front door. I told you, everything I see is for a reason, and everything I say is for a reason, and when I say I don't need the cards, this is why, okay? There it is. Immediately after I said that, immediately, and I shuffle, split the deck again, there it is. And look what it shows up next to the hermit that I just showed you. I swear, it's not magic, you guys. I'm not doing magic tricks over here. It's being an oracle, right? Many of you guys have these gifts, right? You can see things, sense things, know things before they happen, and then they do, you see it, and then it happens, right? That could be a part of why this person is intimidated. That could have caused this person to hold back or be blocked also because of your intuition, how deep you are, you caused this person to go deeper. You, you, you really did. You triggered them, activated them. You activated each other is my guess. But there it is. You have options, my love. All right. Now, whoever this person is to you, they're looking at you like you're 
like you came from heaven, you're heaven sent, you're like an angel, you know, you, um, you changed their life, you know, you're all they want. They don't care about this or that or this or that or this or that. You're all they see and want, but they got to figure some stuff out here. This person's going through, they're going through it. Let's just say that they're going through it. Now, here's the other message here is you options. You have options. That's confirming what I just saw with my mind's eye. Okay. You have a lot of people who want to give to you, Scorpio. Also, you're a very generous soul. You're, you're very giving, loving. Um, you know, you could do a lot of charity work or giving back in certain ways. Um, you know, you get back what you put out. Okay, someone here was not putting out things, their energy, their time, their, their truth, their emotions. So they're not getting shit. This person over here is receiving. That's you. Now, who this is, I have no idea. This could be even you in the past and now you now, right? Things balancing. This is about destined rewards. You have a six and a seven. Both equal a 13, right? 13 is a karmic number. It's the death card. It's your energy in the major arcana i feel like there's a karmic ending there's karmic cycles ending period point blank that's what all this fake shit is over here okay excuse my language but <laughs> you guys know if you've been with me sometimes when i start channeling i'm like i just can't help it look at this nine nine this person is feeling like they're living a nightmare all right they're coming through as the wounded warrior they definitely have walls up they definitely have walls up there's something about love that worries them it worries them to love you because they feel like this is real love. I mean, the, the, the attraction, the magnetization, what they feel on a soul level. This person knows that you're a soulmate for them. Whether they admit it or not, that's probably the problem here. They wouldn't admit it to themselves. They were lying to themselves. This is someone who's fake, wearing a mask, hiding behind, you know, illusions. You could see through the illusions. 1717. 17. You could see through the illusion. I'm telling you, there's something here about how powerful you are, okay, um, that scared this person. It brought up fear within them, but that was their own ego and things that needed to be sorted out. There's an end of a cycle here. It's like someone is going, I'm tired of living my life this way. I don't know, Scorpio, but you guys are very powerful right now. You guys have manifested as the magicians, like I said, a happily ever after. So whether this person comes in, what the universe is saying is that this person wants to come in. That's what they're, they're being magnetized. They're being drawn to you like a magnet. Okay. There's a certain charm about you. There's attraction towards you that they can't explain. There's a je ne sais quoi about you, Scorpio, that this person just can't explain. I feel like someone could be asking this person about you too. It feels like jealous energy. It could be a karmic who knows about you or maybe an acquaintance or someone. I don't know, but I feel like someone asking this person, like, what is it about Scorpio? And this person is going, honestly, like there's a million reasons, but I, I, I don't know. It's just something different. I feel it like in my heart, my bones, my soul. It's something like that, that I'm getting. All right, with the Phoenix energy here, it's like this person has been rising up and with the Hermit card that we saw, they've, they're have they reconnecting to their higher self, their soul. Okay, this, could, this is you, but this could also be this person, as above, so below, who is gathering everything they need, okay, whatever, to, to make a move here. They're manifesting giving to you. They're manifesting seeing you. They're manifesting happily ever after thinking about it constantly, you know? Whether there's action or not, there's manifesting, see? They're thinking about it. They're looking out to their future. They're, they're reflecting on their current, you know, life, world as they see it. And they're going, there's more out there for me. And part of that is you, Scorpio, okay? Knight of Pentacles, this person has been dragging their heels and hiding all of their deep emotions. This is shade. Someone's been shady. Shady. 
shady <laughs> shady it's also divine feminine energy it's very intuitive energy also okay all right so let's 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 clarify a little bit okay so for scorpio if this is your message my loves be sure to claim the energy as yours by liking the video yes this is my timeline yes this is my my message yes this is happening i claim this it's happening now there's a big old beautiful if they're called california scrub jays and they're big beautiful blue birds with a gray under like chest and underbelly they are associated to the um to the blue jay family of course but they're not blue jays but there is one just right out here on on my um on my fence and he was just staring at me and that's pretty um oh, see oh my gosh I was just gonna say, and that's pretty cool because I live in the country. Um, it's not uncommon for me to see, you know, cranes flying, hawks flying, crows flying, magpies. I have a ton of magpies out front. I have a ton of doves. And, um, but the California, but the scrub jay, there was a lot of them where I lived in the town I lived in before, which is about 20 minutes away from here but I don't see them a lot out here. So the fact that one landed on the fence while I was doing your reading is very symbolic. And the reason I was gonna say it was symbolic is because it's blue. Blue is the throat chakra. Blue is authenticity. It's the throat chakra, it's expression, it's truth, divine truth, soul truth. And right as I was started saying all this and I stopped shuffling, the sun shows up. The sun shines light on all. It reveals everything. At night, you look out in your backyard, you could see a shovel against the fence and you might think someone's standing there and you might really trip yourself out on it, right? But then you go out in the morning when the sun is shining and you see the shovel against the fence and you think, oh my gosh, how silly, right? It, it's, it's, there's something being revealed here. Oh, someone's going through a step. Oh my God. Someone's going to reveal to you that they, they are leveling up in their life. There's been a lesson learned here. They're untangling themselves from, from these problems, problems, meaning karmic lessons. I don't know. I did air quotes for that. That doesn't, that, that, that's not right. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean, right? Look at that. The sun and the moon unite. This has been coming up for me quite often, actually, the last few days in readings where these two cards come out. They end up together somehow in a reading. And that's very symbolic for me because they are the original soulmates, original twin flames. You know what I mean? Tell me the story of how the sun sinks every night so that the moon can rise and shine, right? You guys go together. Here's the thing too, though, like I feel like Scorpio, like you, you know, you've gone through a lot of healing and you're like the light. That's what I mean. This person views you as an angel. You're like the light. And I feel like this person viewed themselves as like the darkness, basically like they were trying to protect you from themselves. They didn't want to hurt you. This person's going through some kind of ending. All right. And then you have the strength card showing up with the king of cups, both reversed. I don't do reversals because I, and then the king of swords, um, because oftentimes my cards just, when I'm shuffling and stuff, they get like flipped over and I try to keep them all straight and upright because I don't read reversals. I read the energy and feel the energy and all the things, right? So I don't need to do that. But this is someone who's gathering their strength. It's like, they're not fully there yet, but they're gathering their strength. Okay. To, to, to bring in this cup of love. To express love and emotion, not just feel it and hide it, okay? Because he has the cup of love, the Ace of Cups, but he does not share it or give it away. All right? I, I feel like there's a third party interference here, whether it's a way of thinking, a person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's a person though. And I don't feel like you guys have been waiting on this person at all. I feel like you guys have been tending to your seeds, your harvest. You're like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, great, like whatever. Like you've released something here, but this person has not stopped thinking of you, okay? You might actually be thinking of this person a lot lately because they're thinking of you, all right? They could be coming up for you a lot. But anyways, 
Remember I said the nines? It's the end of a cycle here. And then we have the three of swords. This means separation, pain, loss, heartbreak. Three swords through the heart. That's intense, right? Not as intense as ten swords in the back, but <laughs> I guess either way, right? Look at that. Fighting, disarray, and then the queen of wands. This is someone who's in a third party situation. They're getting ready to end something here. Their intention is to reconcile with you, Scorpio. Whether they do it or not, no one on the face of the earth can say for sure. Um, but this for me is they're manifesting this. I, I did Leo's reading too. Like I'm doing all the Zodiacs for the beginning of April. And Leo's reading was something along the lines of a big reveal. Like this person has been hiding their feelings for you and there's about to be a big reveal. This is that same energy. In fact, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. But I think Leo got this in their reading too. The sun and the moon. I don't know. Like I said, they've come out several times. So I feel like they, this person could be, um, there could be a lot of just like arguing and things of that nature. Again, I feel like it's in regards to you. This person is battling it out with a karmic energy right now. A queen of wands. Someone who is fake. Someone who does gaslight. And someone who has no problem living in a false reality. I mean, seriously, as long as it suits her, I mean, when she's in her shadow, don't get me wrong, I freaking love the Queen of Wands. I am the Queen of Wands energy. I am Aries rising, Aries moon. I love, love, love her. But when she's in her shadow, she is nasty, okay? And that's what I get. I feel like this person is dealing with a very, like, just toxic person. Again, protecting you from something, all right? I am getting no more hiding. Look at that. No more hiding. No more hiding. Someday my prince will come. Justice. Libra energy. All right. Let me go ahead and clarify these. All right. But I feel like someone, maybe someone, maybe, I don't know. Maybe someone knows that this person cares about you, has feelings for you, secretly loves you. I don't know. They could be battling about that. But whatever it is, it's like shit hits the fan and... Something's, something's going down. There it is. See, I told you. I told you. Look at this. Look at this. Shit's going down. Clarifying the nine of swords, nine of wands, and the three of swords is the lovers. Someone's making a big decision in love. They're ending something with one lover and they want to move towards another. All right. You know, um, I feel like this is someone who has been with someone and like, let's say they break up today, right? Let's like, say so they walk away today from this person, all right? They end it, look at, they walk away, boom, there it is. This is done. Whatever this is, whoever this is, this is done. This person, ha look, they're, they're, they're holding on to their dignity, what dignity they have left. They're holding back. They aren't giving to this person, whoever it is. They are holding on to you, you, all right? They are a runner. Didn't I say that earlier? They're a runner, there it is. But they're, they're, they're leaving behind deceptive energies. That's what it is. I'm done running. I'm done lying to my partner, to myself, to my family, to my friends. I'm done pretending that we're all happy and good and we're not. I'm miserable. You know? And Scorpio, if this is your twin flame or like a very intense past life soulmate that you share um, or that you connect with, then you probably know this intuitively. You can feel it. You sense it. You know it. This person has been going through it. All right. Now, I don't mean to make this reading all about this person, but it's someone that you're very connected to on a soul level. For sure. You have a soul, very intense soulmate connection with this person. All right. And now we have the lovers. The lovers initially, it's Gemini energy, but it's a, it's a choice in love. Someone makes a choice to walk away, to end cycles, to end, you know, to, to separate themselves from something. Okay. Someone who was once moving very slow is now moving very fast. I'm, I'm getting my mind is made up. This person's mind is made up. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So let me go ahead and just clarify by and wrap it up with some, um, this is the psychic tarot, but it's the psychic tarot for the heart by John Holland. Okay. 
Um, and then I use classic, just Rider weight. I forget, it's the, it looks like this. And you can get them on Amazon. And then I used Intuit, Intuit Oracle. You can only find Intuit on their website. All right? I've been getting a lot of questions about my decks and with which one I'm using and you know, all that. So someone must be thinking that because that's why I just, like I, I was getting it, so I wanted to share. All right, tell me about the incoming energy in love, the master, the master, look at that. Believe and succeed, believe and succeed. This is a card of victory, magic, passion, moving forward. You're walking into the light, this is believing. This person, all right, they were trying to control their heart. See the heart in, in, in prison? This is like the devil energy right here. The master, right? It's a master manipulator, master controller, all right? The puppet master, if you will, right? This person has had a huge heart chakra awakening. That's why we have all the green and all the things. And they're no longer, they're, they're mastering all this, okay? They're mastering releasing control. They're mastering healing. They're mastering emotion. They're mastering karmic cycles. There's success here. And 15 and then six, you have six, six, and then take the lead. See, this person is taking the lead. And changing their focus. There's definitely heartbreak, sadness, and loss here, but it leads to a beautiful new beginning, a happily ever after if this person moves forward. Either way for you, Scorpio, you have options in love. There's lovers coming in. You are taking the lead in your own life. You are moving forward because you are believing and you're succeeding, all right? And you have become a more masterful, masterful self. You're mastering your ascension. That's why they call them ascended masters, right? Okay, you're mastering your ascension. So someone is shifting their focus and, 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 and their priorities and it's all kind of like starting to come onto you, okay? You have free will. So whether you want this person or not, I don't know. But you do have love coming in and you do have secret admirer energies. So this is what I have for you, my loves. I send you guys so much love, so much light. I thank you for all of your loving support here on YouTube. You guys truly mean the world to me. I appreciate every subscriber, every like, every share, everything that you guys do. So thank you so much. Um, if you do want to book a psychic session with me, a personal reading to hone in on your own personal journey, twin flame journey, whatever it is, you can find all the information down below in the description box. Um, I do also offer a past life Akashic reading. So I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Happy April Scorps.